I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a Santa handbag. You can find the written pattern on my website, Nastasia.com. To do this, you will need some yarn. We're going to be holding two strands together for most of the handbag, so you'll need about 600 yards of red and 300 yards of white yarn. Red Heart's Buttercup yarn works great for the fluffy top part. I'm using a size I hook. To begin, hold two strands of white together and make a slip knot. Chain 11. If you need help with the basics of crochet, please see my beginner crochet videos on YouTube. We're going to be making a rectangular strip consisting of 10 single crochet stitches and 30 rows. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And single crochet in each stitch across. You will make a total of 10 single crochet stitches. At the end, chain one and turn your work. Do one single crochet in each stitch. Again, you will end up with 10 single crochet stitches on this row. Keep repeating these single crochet stitches for a total of 30 rows. Now we're going to work in spiral rounds. Chain one and turn your work. Do two single crochet stitches in this corner. Do one single crochet in the next eight stitches. Now do two single crochet stitches in this corner. Pivot your work and place one single crochet stitch along the edge of every one of these rows. We're working along the side of that long rectangle that we just made. Use your fingernails to trace upwards to find where to place your single crochet stitches. Continue along this edge. When you get to the end, do two single crochet stitches in this corner. Crochet along this edge. And then do two single crochet stitches in this corner. Finish by crocheting along this other edge, placing one single crochet along each row. When we get to the end, we're going to continue in spiral rounds. So just place your first single crochet stitch here. Mark that stitch with a paper clip. For the next four rounds, just do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. Go around each corner with just one single crochet in each stitch. You'll keep working around and your base will look like this. To switch to the red yarn, place a slip knot on your crochet hook Insert it a few stitches away from where you ended your white yarn and proceed with your first single crochet stitch. Work around in the red yarn. And when you get to the last stitch, in order to try and even out the colors when working in spirals, place a slip stitch in the bottom of this stitch. Lift your loop up a bit and proceed to work in spiral rounds again with the red yarn. Keep going and going and going with single crochet stitches. Once you have completed 20 rounds of red, you can add the white fuzzy yarn. Place a slip knot on your hook with it and insert it into the handbag. Now, this fluffy yarn is gorgeous. However, 
sometimes it is hard to see your stitches. You might need to just take a guess where your stitches are. Just to review, make a base of 30 back and forth rows. Then do your sides with 5 rounds of white, 20 rounds of red, and 5 rounds of the fluffy white. Once completed, weave in all ends. For support, I like to cut a piece of plastic canvas and felt the size of the base and insert it into the bottom. Next, you can cut a rectangular strip out of the white felt. It is up to you as to whether you want to sew it on or use a hot glue gun and glue it onto the yarn. Both will work. You might need to take the buckle apart a bit to make it work for your ribbon. Next, you can measure and cut the black ribbon to go around the middle of the handbag. I like to insert it through the belt this way. Again, you can glue or sew this to the yarn. I would recommend sewing on the buttons here and here and then sew on your handles according to the instructions. And here is the finished Santa handbag. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.